we're coming up on that maple I was telling you about. She also makes a good thing carrier. Only got one tap in, but I got three buckets set up there, carboys. Another three, the big one, and then one at the small one. And there's a maple way over there right on the property line. Might be on their side, I don't know, but it's big. I'm gonna put three there. I got one on the back side of the block. Put three there. So that makes a total of three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen taps. That'll be good for your one. They have some other maples up right on their yard, so maybe next year I'll ask about those. The temperatures are finally just over freezing during the day and definitely under at night. I'm gonna try tapping maples for the first time. So let's give her a whirl. inch is supposed to handle a tap over 20 is 2 over 25 is 3 diameter that is so let's see about I think this this one can handle three taps nothing's dripping yet so I'm gonna clean rinse out buckets and carboys I'm gonna try just pumping into this brewing carboy I've got some buckets bought this hose I had a bunch of buckets and sap sacks bought, then I realized if I just buy the hose, I think I'm set. Here's one of the taps. Came with hooks that I won't need because I'm not hanging a bucket. Wants me to drill with a 7 sixteenths, just less than a half, two to two and a half inches. So I have to mark where I want to go there in black Sharpie. Southern exposure. We're gonna try it right here first. See what happens. Slightly angled up to help. Or was it angled down? Pretty sure it said angled up. No, angled, yeah, angled up to help the sap flow down. That makes sense. Here we go. This is not a hard maple, I don't think. But you can tap it pretty much. <laughs> Sap should drip pretty much right away if sap is running. It's awful cold today though, just freezing her over. It's really supposed to warm up tomorrow and I'll be at work. Let's clean up that hole a little bit. I'll stick my tap in. Fits in there pretty good. A few gentle taps. Seat it real nice. Nothing dripping yet. Throw the hose in there. Seems to fit securely just by kind of forcing it in there real firmly. <clears throat> Run the other end down into the carboy. First one that's dripping. Same day, but out in the unprotected full sun that just came out an hour ago. Sweet. Let me get the tube on there. These trees on day one, up to 40 some degrees, aren't doing much, just a teensy bit, but this one's doing okay, I guess. There's some in the bottom there. Let's see if we can see it dripping in. Yep, 
See me coming down the tube? Oh yeah. Coming down the tube there. Looks like something's leaking past the holes. Pretty excited. My other trees don't seem to be doing much. This tree, it's the smallest one, dripping good. I got a little head start on my fire. Just took some ashes, some coals out of the outdoor wood burner. Threw a bunch of stuff on there. I'm hoping to boil down some sap today. Got this pan at Walmart. We're doing this small style. It's gonna be a very small batch anyway. Here's my first five gallons of sap. Got a lot of ice in it, but it'll melt. I'm gonna pour some in the pan, try to keep the fire going all day today, and see if we can get anything good to happen. It's sizzling, that's good. It smells good. Sure don't come out very fast. It's heavy. Whew, that's heavy. I think I gotta rest it a little bit. It smells actually pretty good. slipping and losing all the sap in the fire. Hope not. If you don't put too much sap in then, so in case something like that does happen, you don't lose a ton. I want to get it done. I'm sure it's going to take a long time. I use this pan for more surface area than a pot. Surface area combined to, compared to volume. Still take more though. Not quite so heavy now. Splash. Did I put the fire out? No, I see flames. Hopefully. Hope it's a hot enough fire. It'll get there. We're gonna try this. All right, so it's been probably around 45 minutes. So let's see how good it's doing. So it has to, to make, you have to make sure it can't just like drip off like water. It has to like slowly, slowly drip off like sap. So, I mean, it's definitely, I checked the first time and put it on a little while ago. It's definitely gotten a little Well, we're going to keep thinning it back out by adding more. Yeah. It's definitely gotten a little bit better, though. Until we're done yeah. with all our sap. Started the fire at about 9 a.m. Now it's, I don't know, 8 p.m. or something. Getting close. Probably got a this sap, another gallon or so. Getting close. A lot of wood today, but didn't cost us any propane or money. I think we're getting near the final stages. There's not a whole lot of liquid left. Only about 15 gallons of sap. And I don't know, maybe I'll end up with a pint if I'm lucky. really foamy all of a sudden. You can definitely see the color, an amber color, not the clear sap, but I ain't gonna get much. Maybe I'll put it on one pancake. Huh. I'm sure it'll taste good though. The sap sure does. I'm 
currently pulling logs out because it's foaming so much and turning so much color. I'm afraid it's going to burn. Sure hope it doesn't. Slow things down a little bit. Starting to run off the spoon a little bit thicker, not so drop, so much like drops. I think it's about ready to pull off. Old timer's way, I guess, is to see when it runs off more as a syrup. It's getting real close, I think. It's real dark looking. It's all burned. I hope I didn't burn it. Pulled it. Sitting on a stump now instead of over the fire. I really hope I didn't burn it after all this. It's about 15 gallons of sap. 12 hours of boiling. It's really darkened up. It's probably going to have a smoking flavor. Well, I definitely cooked it too long. It's got a bit of a smoky taste, and it's more like a like a maple candy. It's pretty. It's pretty tasty though. Really sticky. We're just sitting here this morning trying the maple candy. We're pretty disappointed. It looks like dog poop. It tastes pretty good. It's sweet, but it has a burned aftertaste. So I think I'll feed most of it to the pigs, unfortunately. I think next time when I add my final batch of sap, I've got to transfer it to a pot and bring it inside to finish it so it doesn't evaporate so fast. Pulling taps today. Looking a little cloudy. You can see a little bit of budding. I think I'll just chalk it up as a loss and try it again next year. It has an off taste, I think. Oh well. <laughs>